Okay, we're back for our second installment. In our previous installment, we talked about the preparation phase for pressing your uniforms. We talked about laundering. We talked about starch versus magic sizing. We talked about irons. We talked about iron boards. So let's get busy. The first thing that we're gonna press today is our camouflage utility cover. Before you get busy, you're gonna make sure you get your iron turned on and heat it up. You're gonna make sure you fill it up with water. Don't go past the line. Like I mentioned before, some of these irons are self-cleaning. So as you're pressing your uniforms, there might be things that spray out of it. Before you get busy, you want to steam out your iron and get a good clean before you put the iron to the uniforms. This camouflage utility cover has a cardboard bill. You never want to snap it in half because it will break that cardboard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our iron all the way up on high and we're going to make sure that we've got that steam ready. 100% cotton, make sure it's set for 100% cotton, turned all the way up. Let me get a little bit of steam going on here. My iron is already warmed up. I'm gonna take the bill of my cover. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lot of steam into it. So I'm gonna take the iron, I'm gonna put it on steam, which is the little steam picture, and then the steam with the X is no steam. You can start to see it coming out. All I'm gonna do is iron my bill flat, and it's going to get wet because that steam is going to penetrate through the bill. So once I've got it iron flat, I'm going all the way up to the corners. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to dry that bill just yet. So once I've got it loose, now I can work with it a little bit more. Next, I'm going to move to the sweat band. I'm going to take the corner of my ironing board and I'm going to iron the sweat band all the way around. Now, when I am starting off in my sweat bin, I don't, like I said, want to bend that cover or that bill. So I'm going to go up to the either side of that egret of an anchor. Don't come past it, otherwise you're going to run the risk of snapping that bill. So I'm going to stretch that material flat. I'm going to keep it on steam. I'm going to steam just the sweat band that runs around. And I'm going to get all the wrinkles out. That steam's going to loosen up the material. Like I said, you've already got it starched. And when you starch it, it's going to be very stiff and not easy to manipulate. But when you put that steam on there, it's going to loosen up that fabric. The steam, I'm sorry, the starch is already in there. So when you click this iron on dry and you go to dry that material again flat, that starch will dry in, a, in the position that you want it in. So now that I've got the bill done and I've got the sweat band done, it's still loose now because I've steamed and that material is not as stiff as it was with the starch. Don't worry about it. When you, when you put that iron on dry, it's gonna get stiff again. So I'm gonna take a hand towel, a regular hand towel. I'm gonna try fold it and then I'm gonna roll it up or I like to fold it up in a little bit of a square Make it flat about where that eagle of an anchor would be. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that towel. I'm going to put it in behind where that eagle of an anchor is. So I've got the towel right here and I've got the flat part of that towel on the front. I'm going to pinch the bill with my pinky and my thumb. Don't burn yourself. But I'm going to take that iron and I'm sorry, I'm going to take that bill and wrap it around. That's going to smooth out my eagle of an anchor and it's going to smooth out that sweat band in the front that I didn't get to iron on the ironing board. Again, I'm still on steam. All I'm gonna do is use this towel as if it was the ironing board. And I'm gonna push flat on my fingers here and press against the back side of that towel. I'm steaming out all the wrinkles. That's what the steam does. It gets rid of all the wrinkles. Now I've got a flat eagle and anchor. All I'm going to do is I'm going to switch sides and I'm going to take every little section of this five or this eight point cover and I'm going to iron it section by section all the way up to the stitching. So now I've got my little mini ironing board here made out of my towel. I'm going to steam it out. I'm going kind of fast here because I know what I'm doing. I would recommend that if you don't, then you need to take your time. Switch to the other side. Again, I'm using my pinky to hold that material. Don't burn yourself. 
Now that I've got the entire front done, I can either go all the way around or I can bounce back and forth. It's up to you. I'm ironing each section of that cover and the bill, I'm sorry, and the sweatband again. Once I've gotten all the wrinkles out of each section, then I'm going to click the iron on dry. Your cover is going to feel a little bit damp to the touch now that you've put all of that steam into the fabric. Now, if you notice the top is very, very wrinkled. So I can do one of two things. I can take my towel put it up in here and iron it flat and work its way around. Or I'll do both to tell you what, I'm gonna get ahead of myself. I'm gonna take the towel, I'm gonna put it up in here, I'm gonna iron the top. So you see what I've got here. I'm just gonna take this towel and keep spinning around and spinning around until I get the entire top of the cover pressed. Front to back, catty corner to catty corner. And I'm gonna work my way all the way around. Now that's gonna get the main part of the cover, but these little edges right here are still just a little bit wrinkled, and I'll show you how to take care of that in a second. So now I'm starting to get a bit of a militant and Marine Corps shape to my cover. Now I'm gonna take my towel, I'm going to put it back where it was. I'm going to start all over, but this time I'm putting it on dry. No steam. Now that it's damp, it has kind of reinvigorated that starch that we had let dry overnight or after a couple of hours. Now I'm going to start and do the same thing all over again, but now I've got it on dry. Now that that starch is a little bit damp again within this fabric, by you drying it flat with the dry iron, with no steam, that's what's gonna keep that hold. That's what's gonna help keep that shape because that starch is drying in a flat and rigid position now. If you might, you might have noticed, I should say, that when you spray them down with the starch and let them dry, they got real hard, they got real stiff, but they dried wrinkled because that's just the way they were hung. Same concept here, you're just drying it flat with the iron. Take your time. Like I said, I'm going fast to make this video as short as I can. Last thing I'm gonna do, is you can see I got a little bit of wrinkle here, right here in the bill. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. So, I'm gonna take that iron. I'm just gonna go over it one more time. So from here, I've got a little pop-up on my cover. From here to get rid of all these little edges I'm gonna iron just the edge I'm gonna take that little bitty stitching I'm gonna lay it on the corner of my ironing board I'm gonna use the corner of my iron give it a little bit of steam a little bit of steam a little bit of steam all right there we go nice and flat nice and smooth. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my cover and wrap it around a starch bottle. Now when you put it on your head, it looks nice and smooth and nice and militant, but I've still got that flat portion of my bill that I need to round off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cover, I'm gonna take a little bit of starch, just a little bit of starch, and I'm going to spray the bill of that cover again. Spray it underneath. Just a little bit. Rub it in good. Now that that cover's pressed, I'm going to take that starch can. I'm going to take my cover and I'm going to wrap it around that starch can. 
and I'm going to center the seam of the eagle of an anchor and I'm going to wrap it around so where it's perfectly smooth so that the, each side and the corners of my cover are aligned with one another. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my boot bands or a rubber band or my little sister's hair tie, whatever I can, and I'm going to wrap it around here and I'm just going to let it set overnight. That way, when it dries, all I got to do is take it off. It's going to be arched just like that and it'll set nice and neat on your head and it'll be a, a an arched, almost an old school ball cap look. It'll pin nice and close to your temples. That's it. That's the cover. All right, when we come back, next thing you want to go over is our blouse and our trousers.